But first, we have breaking news out of the Republican-controlled House of Representatives voting moments ago to launch an impeachment inquiry into President Biden. Yeah, the vote comes just hours after the president's son, Hunter, defied a subpoena to appear at a closed-door deposition. Both the younger Biden and Democrats slamming calls for this impeachment inquiry, and they are saying that there's no evidence to justify it. And we will soon see if that's the case. I would News reporter Josh Heinegger in the newsroom with the very latest from Washington. Josh? Bill, this was, of course, a straight party line vote. This whole impeachment plan does hinge on the alleged bad behavior of the president's son, Hunter, whose business dealings have come under the microscope of a special counsel and who has now been indicted twice, once for tax evasion and once for lying on a gun permit application. Neither would be connected to the high crimes and misdemeanors that would lead to a presidential impeachment. But within the past few minutes, the vote on party line on a strict, strict party line, House Republicans, every single Republican voting in favor, every single Democrat voting against, launching an official impeachment inquiry into President Biden. Now, this happens, of course, on the same day Hunter Biden was to appear behind closed doors for a deposition led by House Republicans, but he defied their subpoena and walked straight to the cameras, vowing to fight back. No matter how many times it is debunked, they continue to insist that my father's support of Ukraine against Russia is the result of a non-existent bribe. They displayed naked photos of me during an oversight hearing. And they have... House Republicans are threatening now to hold Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress as they seek to tie his history of business dealings to his dad, even though they have so far produced no smoking gun yet. The impeachment inquiry is largely a formality, but it does give three House committees investigating the president extra authority in enforcing subpoenas of White House officials who thus far have largely refused to cooperate.